Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign where we are horribly facing monstrous amounts of chrysalids mission after mission. Today is the supply raid with Hive Royalty as a side trap. Now that's going to suck really, really badly because we're going to face the first juvenile queen. Well, um... This mission will potentially uh, run under the title The Expendables, because that's exactly what kind of team I have drafted. Prime team is currently busy slash uh, injured. Secondary team mainly injured and tired, so we can't use either. And we brought ourselves into a situation where we need to use the C team. Since I have limited confidence in all of those sergeants to just pull it off, I figured I will just give them stuff that we can lose, theoretically. Flashbangs, blue screen rounds, um, uh, burning vests, normal uh, vests, uh, all of that is normally uh, replaceable. Even the DLC weapons at this point aren't really uh, offering such a huge upgrade because we're not upgrading the weapons. They're actually, quote unquote, nothing special. So we could, um, we might as well go in with them. I haven't taken any special weapon with major upgrades. So the red ones are really the basic of the basic uh, weapons. And it's a very difficult mission. So I am expecting thoroughly and 100% to get absolutely shafted. And that's why we're taking the C team. Um, I would potentially skip the mission uh, but that's also not in our best interest you guys want to see hardcore missions and uh, this will deliver i can already promise it okay so we're not going to fight until the last man standing if it is just way too hard then we're boogieing out and just accepting the l nice those new map tiles i mean i'm saying it every single time but look at that uh, little bridges here and there and this is totally awesome can highly recommend it if you are not playing with any mods whatsoever and just want uh, kind of the normal experience get yourself some map mods it will just enrich uh, the experience so much more how where how could we get up here okay we could get up here I want to get into that like center piece it's a non-timed mission so no uh, reason for us Rolling. to charge in too fast and too furious instead what you're going to see is the classical Rolling. overwatch crawl you all know it, you all love it, and this is what's going to happen. I swear to you guys, if uh, this is a map where... Oh boy. Well, Feral Hive means... Uh -oh. There might be a small chance uh, we... They do have vigilance, so we can't just charge in, but there might be a small chance where we're just letting them poke it out with, un, uh, within their own ranks. And where we're just standing there and waiting them, uh, waiting for them to just kill each other, I suppose. On the other hand, there are these little um, these little screakers that typically run around the map. The brood mothers, uh, wow, they are already starting their little breeding exercise. Sam moves up, valiantly moves up, 
Frodo with a cannon. I would love to have a high ground position for you as well. But I think we're just going to settle with low ground full cover for now. Yeah, our explosives need to go Roger that. to the front line. The DM equally, move, move, definitely move. off you go to the front line. And Striker puts it here. Just need to make sure that we're not spotted out. Okay, so our only chance to win this map is that the feral hive and the actual hive get into a confrontation i'm not going to be able to shoot through that amount of enemies Ooh. yeah and we're already locked in place shite Okay, there is still hope. And the hope comes in uh, the form of uh, hoping that the enemies will spot each other out. <laughs> this is so crazy on that on so many levels yeah we there is no way we can move in any direction meaningfully Rolling. confirmed moving to overwatch eyes on the prize So this is either going to be the best thing ever or we're going to massively get overrun. Oh, I think they've spotted each other. Fine, very good. And we're not even pincered between them. Little chrysalid rippers even make their way in. The smallest are the most uh, nasty ones. 18 movement, my ass, they have more. Oh, and they're shredding the hive queen. Mm. Very good. So you wanted to see Newfoundland? Well, this is the hardcore version of Newfoundland. This is new Newfoundland. Please. Don't move into us. Shoot. Well, we can't stay out of it. But these two factions could start to attack each other, I suppose. Now queen jumps up, group mothers uh, supporting here. Oh, this is so dangerous. But equally such a great setup. This is the type of storyline where campaigns are made or broken. spawning extra enemies I'm 
Come on, hit it. No. Synapse, how could you? Okay, the Rippers are looking for the least hit-pointed targets, which is understandable, right? So they want to kill. And that first Ripper that moved into uh, against the Queen, ah, finally went down. But it stood there for a long time. Fortunately, the Queen also has a lot of Rippers. Rest in peace. But we can't combat the swarm. Well, that's not going to work. It looks like a trap, but it isn't because uh, our our cover really doesn't mean anything. So this he gets rid of the small ones. And starts working on the queen. Do we have repost? No, we don't have that yet. Hmm. Talking about skills that you wish you had, right? Uh, we'll come to that in a second. Need to move into a better position and let's just make sure that those small ones are down my main question will be whom should we go for first the infector is a problem the hive queen is also a problem it's not like we're we're going to go through all of uh, them I like the idea of a big fat blinding protocol there. But before that, let's strengthen our front line. Okay, we're overwatching. Starting to hit these guys. Could have sustained fire, but we're a bit far away for that. Moving up close so that we're not offering that many spots for the bucks to come in. And the infector is the biggest problem. Unfortunately, one that we can't solve right away. <laughs> okay, sure, yeah, bro. Yeah, well, yeah. Can summon troops, shoots to kill, low profile, hates explosions, and hates reapers, which we, by the way, don't See even have. The elders must have caught wind of our operation. They sent in one of the chosen. Okay, let's hope the chrysalids are fighting each other. Nice. Okay, that's what I was hoping for.
the infector. Oh yeah, tank them, please. That's a good idea. Chrysalids can't spawn chrysalids, right? That would be counterintuitive. <sighs> now everybody's frozen. Okay. Well, that's a problem. Should have brought more zappers with me. Explosions are the key. Clearly, more explosives. If you're looking for an answer in XCOM, use more explosives. Okay, there will be a grenade in here. There's no way I'm not going to do that. If I stay in here, I, up here I can definitely uh, put it down. Can we fiddle one in? No, it's just short. I know from down here we can't. From here, maybe over here. Don't want to go in here because that is almost instant death. right good that should deal like a hundred damage Yeah. Maybe even more than that. Bracing. turn by the way for a nice little flashbang queen is immune rest has taken it on the chin cover here let's try to get the infectors Moves over to here, Overwatch. It's dead. It has to be dead. Roy on ammo. We 
Very nice. They are starting to hit each other. Yeah, summon the zombies into the fray there. Nah. Not there, dude. Really, your biggest concern should not be a couple of XCOM newbies. Your biggest concern should be that absolute madness that is happening back there. Okay, not much more left over. We need more. We need more advents. We, we definitely need more advents. Okay, a spectra zombie might run in and just nuke them down. I think Roro could become a real winner here. It's just too much damage to not do it. Just too much damage. We're green to go. Enemy destroyed. Okay, we're moving up. I like kind of our little position here. Got an overwatch. Uh, we have a free reload, so can overwatch without uh, needing to reload. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Suicide Bomber. They ran into another squad. I like it. Funnily enough, we need to help Advent, I think. I'm not sure. Hey, we're just staying out. Um, and letting them beat each other up. It's a bit of a cowardice move, but I really, really like my soldiers. Okay, I'll go. Striker moves up. That's affirmative. Moves to here. I'm trusting you here. On my way. I'm on it. Got it covered. Good. We're even staying in in the open. I don't mind that. <sighs> well, maybe now I mind. But guys, seriously, there are like 115 massive aliens back there. Do you really think that it is a smart move to run into us? Fight the aliens, for the love of God.
Well, the problem is the aliens will, uh, the hive will now start moving to them. Mm. Not good. Well, that will produce more little chrysalids, but not if the advent uh, mm, is just dodging. Yeah, our overwatch traps, I, as always, grossly overestimated our ability to pull something off. Still tanking. Moves to here. I think I want to hack the drone. If we had a healing drone, that would be great. And it's a good mimic beacon as well. Oh, 25%. Killing it is not the right call because it's not really dangerous to us. It's a lot of hit points and a lot of armor. So, although medical protocol, uh, although combat protocol, not really f it up. I think we're actually trying to control it because then I can, I have at least a chance to kill the uh, stun lancer and prevent more aliens from spawning. Mm. Not good. Well, at least it's supercharged, so more defense, and that means the aliens have a harder time hitting it, I suppose. Really? Full cover for the DM. It's going to be our front line. This is a weird fight. Kind of a bit all over the place. Could move to here and try to finish the hunter. I think we're going to do that. Hmm. Good, Overwatch, and that's it. Not so concerned about mind control because the reality is. We can hit him. 
And the other reality is there are like a hundred enemies back here that could uh, simply hit them. Oh, Advent Assaults are immune to poison. That's cool. Uh, thanks to their breakthrough. Please, don't summon them into us. Summon them into the enemies. Why would we need to deal with spectral zombies? Really? Yeah, Spectral Rupture. There you go. Right into the enemies. Thank you. <laughs> the ad advanced assault is still tanking them. Like it's no man's business, and the drone is doing the same. Yeah, oh yeah, that was a good idea. Fantastic. They pulled him right... They pulled the guy right into them. What a show. Good, that's one down. We can still overwatch. Uh, can we somehow... You know, a long, no longer have our flashbang, unfortunately. Uh, no bonds, so that won't end uh, it either. Could hit him and then slightly move back. back online. Enemy is still up. I hate to focus on uh, the guy, but I think that's what we need to do. Oh, yeah, yeah we forgot the spectral zombie. Never mind. Let's try to get the zombie down first. Just believe it or not, that's even more damage. There we go, uh, and back into full cover, overwatching, can't really hit the priest, so might as well just overwatch. spawns the cocoon Blah. not good luckily it didn't spawn right next to us well the priest and the drone are the only things that are standing between us and an angry swarm of 
chrysalids. The chrysalids are already down quite a bit, but not yet beaten. I think the brood mothers have taken a bit of damage, but their innate healing ability kind of keeps them going. The AoE damage got them down good, but not far enough. They are still healing up. And somehow the game needs a little bit more time. Good, now it's the Chosen's turn. I fast forwarded a little bit. What is he going to do? Yeah, it, the game is a bit jumpy at the moment. Not sure why so many enemies have skipped their turn. Maybe they did something and I just didn't realize uh, that they did it. Now it's Chosen's time and Feral action at the same time. Uh, okay, I think we all agreed on a standstill. I, I'm i okay with that. I'll take every single bit uh, in this uh, mission that I could get. Every single bit. Alright, back. Needed to hard restart the game. We don't want to take any alimonies. We want to win by actually being better and not by taking handouts from them. Although this mission is definitely not a handout. And if it is one, I don't want that handout. Good. Um, so here's the deal. We got two more enemies that work for us as a buffer. If my memory serves me well. Uh, there should be zombies spawning in uh, one more round. So once that is happening, uh, and once these guys are down, we're basically on our own and this is way too many enemies. Uh, he is poisoned, he will soon be poisoned, so there are more chrysalids coming in. With that line of argumentation in mind, I want the chrysalid hive queen, chrysalid brood mother first, but the hive queen afterwards to absolutely die. Junal Queen is the next target. Because if we can't kill it, if we can't kill these bigger ones, small, uh, small chrysalids will always come back. We can't let that happen. Don't be deceived by her hit points. The count is artificially low. Uh, she takes two less damage from everything that we're doing. Reload. Can we hit? No, we cannot. Damn it. Mm, don't want to overwatch. I tell you what. Let's just suppress him so that he can't flanking shot us. But we want to go for the to, uh, for the Hive Queen. So okay. full cover over here. Come on. Nice. Maximum damage. That's what I want to see. She's still standing there. Strong as ever. Strong independent Hive Queen. Minimum damage, not as good as I was hoping it would uh, hit. Uh, 
Uh, we could reposition. Our weapon does what? Like three to four? Uh, that's one to two against the Hive Queen. Can't even see her from here. Okay, well, listen, we do have a problem. She's taking almost no damage, so might as well just get that hunter towards three hit points. Okay, is he taking shots at the Hive Queen? No, even better! Oh my lord, that was great. Oh, Mutant, you are such a good, fantastic Mutant. Oh, that was great. I wasn't foreseeing that at all. Eh, we're now going to take some self-destruct damage. Three on everyone. Five targets. No, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, we unfortunately don't have the parry yet. Infector. <sighs> Misses. Okay, we need to get them down next. Move up. Adrenaline rush into free heal. For synapse. Keeping that action economy. Okay, we need to deal with the infector first. Can I get high ground somehow? No. And I need the overwatch shot. So we're just going to stand where we are. Overwatches. Reload. Into Crystal Dripper. <laughs> yeah, of course, dodge. We're going to be doomed anyway, so we can't outrun them. Minimum damage again. Down to two hit points. Um, well, pups unfortunately have a really poor uh, range. The moment that uh, you're running away, you are reducing your chances drastically. Uh. Okay, zombies are coming in. They are distractions.
unfortunately they drew the overwood shot That thing is going to die, and when it is, we're going to hate ourselves for sticking around. Sure thing. Moves over here. over here and listen I think that's not a bad position this is a three for one Good, we're reloading. Uh, landing protocol could be helpful next turn if the Junal Queen is actually going to join us. here as well overwatch and overwatch unfortunately advent is eating our overwatch shots that was not uh, anticipated that was a double move for him Queen hits, the thing deals damage, and Queen is hopefully burning again. Chrysalid very much is burning. Put a protocol up here. On my way. Moving over, just kill that hunter. We could also put ourselves in uh, into uh, cover, but I think the queen and the one chrysalid that is left will rush us. Blasting that target. 
Let's make sure that Guardian doesn't get anywhere. Snipers are notoriously bad with overwatching, so we're just going to take the shot to reduce him a bit further. Good, and we're putting a protocol up here to make it easier for Synapse and Roro to tank. Almost. Minimum damage. If we would have dealt just a bit more, we could have killed him. That's the last chrysalid that spawns. into cover hitting the queen Come on, get back in the fight. let's heal up I think we do have a chance using all means necessary and that should be a kill oh yeah good we have one more chrysalid And of course a warlock. Still going. Can't believe it. But we're still going. I don't think there are any advents. Racing, reloading. Okay, we have plenty of overwatch. Done deal. We're keeping the high ground here. No problem, boss. Let's rock! And first and here foremost, we we're keeping our joint clustered up formation. Frontliners forward. Overwatch is still a chrysalid on the loose. Your 
Might not even be there anymore. Something is moving from behind that might be a little chrysalid. The warlock was smart, he just stayed out of combat and was merely summoning. He would have been dead if he would have moved in. Should have reloaded first. Yeah, doesn't matter. Bracing and high ground, and we're moving up. I even do have some. Mad kids left over. Unbelievable, I know, right? Okay, we might want to go up to here and then fight him from there. Autoloaders are long gone. And there he is in all of his glory. Come, place yourself beside some explosive crates, please. We've spotted the chosen. Get ready to fight. we go. Gotta be careful with the striker. Okay. This explodes. Um, we would be sitting very much up next to the car. So can't go there. But we could suppress if needed. And combat protocol would deal some damage as well. not trigger his close combat overwatch nope does not
Instead, he's down to three. Enough for 100% kill with the Comet Protocol. We are suppressing him. I uh, should have first taken a shot and then suppressed him. an issue. Good, we do have an option to deal with that, we can uh, simply take him out with a blind protocol. And move away. Also, we could move up here, which will prevent any form of melee attack. Good, but before we do that, start to shred him. Starting to get through his uh, through his defenses. And we're suppressing him. Ah, that was stupid. We're still in it. This feels like playing four hours. But we need to get him somehow out of his little comfortable cushion there. A protocol to help our front line. Um. Good. Can't just overwatch because that will hit our own guy. Reload and let's try to shred him, please. Fantastic, okay, that worked out well. Bracing. Try to hit him. Not good. Reload, let's suppress him. Uh, we could be hit in half cover, I don't want that. Now we're going here. Tight position. And it's really use, uh, use it or lose it because uh, this guy, I don't want another overwood shot. Last round. Let me show you. I've got 
Of course, we're being crit. One of our soldiers is in a daze. We need to snap him out of it. Striker really heals himself. Reviving. Fortunately, we're disoriented. I had wondered if you would risk coming to save your ally. Courageous of you. Revive, stabilize. Yeah, mm, now nah, that really doesn't help. Okay, listen. We need more shredding. There we go, that's it. There will be no mercy for you. I will use Bastard to hopefully draw his attention. Also to deal some damage. Balpup is uh, accurate on shorter distances. This little pistol shot. Good job, Synapse. Roro is going to suppress him again. Yeah, we're taking the 100% slash damage that the right way to do. Moving to fire position. Tired of waiting around. Good. We might lose the DM. Ugh. One of the worst things that he could have. Well, nah. It's actually okay. nice very nice um okay Moving over here Okay, decent damage, decent damage, I like it. Good, striker moves up. Can overwatch, but that's about it.
DM moves up. Hits and we're just staying out of trouble because we are down to five hit points. This is three to four, so there's a chance of killing it, which I don't want. Overwatch, Overwatch. Move over and Overwatch. And the idea is he's now taking his turn. He will lose it because he's stuck in Spectral Army. We kill him and therefore he does not get his turn. There you go. That's how those little tricks uh, will get you the win. Okay, so let's get this guy down, shall we? In all of his might, as he's standing there. Very good. meager strike well I show you a not so meager strike it's called shotgun to the face oh, he takes he can take a lot but even the most durable will fall eventually did I just do it Did I, did I beat this absolute unforgiving mission? I'm sure we'll see them again, but that Chosen sure wasn't expecting the fight we put up today, Commander. This was something else. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. 103 enemies oh my lord I wasn't even thinking that we would do this this potentially goes into uh, near the history books is uh, the most difficult mission this run uh, where I be um, where I was beating the 1 to 100 odds or whatnot if I was uh, if I would be a betting man I would have bet against myself that was a massive piece of garbage this mission so many things went our way uh, the two factions began to battle each other i tried to kind of stay out of it but always influenced it just in a way that i deal enough damage um, to keep the battle even then the packs with the exception of the second last one that came and uh, flanked us all of the packs eventually um, ran into the juvenile hive queen and then you can just see how the two brood mothers and the juvenile hive queen were going through them remorseless and yeah our weapons certainly feel like paper balls at this uh, at this point i don't even want to know how we're dealing with alien rulers going forward we need more shredding This one was good. Um, I like the idea of this extended signal range. It's good. It's really good. Aid protocol. Cleanse all soldiers. Acid burning poison. That one is good. And return fire isn't bad either. Can I pick this one? No, 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 we're definitely not uh, purchasing uh, anything on uh, which would not be on the prime team. So yeah, we're going with uh, neuralizing agents. Uh, they worked incredibly well so far. Uh, Salvo is a no-brainer. It's just too good to not pick it. The rest, unfortunately, costs a lot. Sidearm specialist, cool. That's not bad either. 
But I think Enders is just following the normal route here. Although he is covering fire, Sentinel isn't bad as well. That plus covering fire actually would make him a decent uh, soldier. 20 crit and 20 total damage on critical hits with your primary uh, weapon. I mean, this is really strong. Really strong, independent on uh, those two. But I can see a world where Sentinel plus covering fire actually works out well in our favor. Um, let's go with Applied Knowledge nonetheless, because we need basic damage. That works out well. Um, this here is counter attack and we definitely need that. Uh, the assault infantry can now use movement only action point to hunker down. Automatically hunker down at the end of the turn. If you only took movement actions, interesting. It's not a bad ability, hunker down. Makes sense, but it doesn't make sense on a character that goes in. And Synapse, so far, is uh, going for Raptor's Perch. Automatically brace at the end of uh, the turn. Sniper Rifles can now fire a standard snapshot with only one action remaining. Both together are good. Uh, mm. This alone not perfect. But it will allow us much more mobility. And both together are really good. This here is a fantastic option. We need battle scanners. So we'll go for them. Just needs one more level. Um, yeah, confirming the bond. Nice, nice. Two Alarium cores, uh, that is helpful. Priest Autopsy, the Junior Queen could be incredibly helpful. And I think we earned ourselves um, an experimental armor, maybe, and some ammunition. Could we use good ammunition? I don't think that any ammunition that we could get at the moment, maybe armor penetration. Our oh, penetration actually would be good. I tell you what, we're doing one ammo and one armor, another plated vest. Okay. Game definitely wants us to upgrade weapons. Our research was a success, Commander. Advent doesn't seem to have any issues stationing completely autonomous weapons in close proximity to the people in those cities. Really shows you how much they care. Uh, we're going for Trooper Autopsy. Apparently my predecessor was something of a brute. We're really uh, mm, wanting to get those battle scanners. Next cleared, uh, cleared uh, section will become a defense matrix. And finally, we got the radio relay. That also bumps up our income. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's start making contact. 80 Intel, however, is a bit too heavy on our Intel purse. Hmm. Heal faster? No. No, 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 no. Well, takes us seven days to get uh, another data pad, and we might need to do that next. 
Just starting to scan a data pad. Or research a data pad rather. Experimental grenades uh, and heavy weapons are instantly completed. That's not as good as it seems. Oh, tactical analysis. That is as good as it seems. Um, yeah, change of plans. We need to go to Africa. But integrated warfare is good as well. So we're continuing. Uh, those two are good. And then Africa is um, next on our radar. The outcome of this research can only further our advantage. Could gain four days just by researching the Juvenile Queen. I like the inspired bonus. Might as well just do it. Hey, Commander. Uh, that would be an upgrade to the normal knives, which, according to our rules, we're not allowed to take. Hellweave would be a good upgrade. We now need Viper Corpses to create further Nano Med Kits. That's stupid. Uh, we did have them before. Oh, and we got a Mimic Beacon? Well, hell yeah, we're going to get one. And rest assured that that is going to be an Insta buy. Yeah, we could get medical training. Not a bad idea either. And we got a new um, technical specialist. Epitulos has joined us. Welcome to the team, my friend. Uh, it's great to have you. So let's see if we are just looking at that sergeant rank, tech spec, tech specialist, marine, marksman, assault, field medic, separates, like a good combination of everyone. Um, I think I want another marine. Or another assault infantry because we only have two of them. The other two are squaddies. So yeah, let's get another assault infantry. They tend to not survive very long. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. Leading the resistance is a daunting. Well, fantastic. Immune to explosions is just what we wanted, right? Of course, that's not what we wanted. He's training as well. And more income lowering, okay. Alien seek to overrun X, complacing extra chrysalid in most missions for a month. Ugh. Ugh. Horrible. Contact with new regions instantly. Check. Resistance drops are collected instantly. Check. So that is just giving us speed on the on the global layer. Might as well do this here. Mainly because it allows us to um, progress further. Avenger plotting new course. And the three days of scanning here are really not that bad. One, two. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. I think we need a the alien data cache now. So if we were to make contact, that's 160, which is a bit stiff. 
uh, steep, right? Rather, better ways through Europe. Um, you know, we're going for more intel, really. At the moment, we need to maximize the intel and we need the supplies for more radio relays. Our people have survived, Commander, but the ambush by the elders are. I'll play that off screen. Be right back. Okay, fantastic. So. We got the stronghold inside. Can't use the weapons, although it would be cool. Uh, but um, that definitely would at least get rid of uh, the chosen. So we have re uh, reduction of avatar project. I like that idea. Aim plus four is also massive. Really, really good bonus. It's potentially what we're going to do. Another aim plus four. Dodge is another good stat. Ooh, a new Templar. <laughs> Ooh, a new Templar. Uh, nah, let's not make it too much about the Templars. Uh, although... Hmm. I mean, it would be a major, I assume, or at least a Captain Templar. I don't know, I'm torn between I want to be successful at this run, but I also want to respect that it is now about the new character classes. And I already feel Hogbite is carrying quite a bit of weight. And you guys know that I've beaten legendary Iron Man with a single soldier. So, And, and that, by the way, was Hogbite, which made him famous. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going for Templars. I put a strict um, restriction on all of the new classes, mainly because elsewise this is going to go into the wrong direction. Supplies and aim isn't bad either. And this is cool as well, by the way, promotion plus increase in combat intelligence. But I think all uh, things considered, this is actually quite good. Aim plus four could be on any good character um any of uh, them and i'm wondering if we might put zukuger on it just so that he gets more and better aim goes in with his colleague sydney reduces it to eight days that's actually quite good it's a this is a very, very good setup. Uh, plus four aim. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. And Lyrical. If we promote her, let's see what her last abilities are. Shock and Maul. Deals one damage to stunned or disoriented targets and an additional plus one if the target is also within the domination radius. Hmm. That's not bad. Uh, deals plus one damage and 20%, uh, plus 20% plus total damage on critical hits when run and gun is activated. Yeah, run gun is too difficult. I mean, here's a reduction by one. Zone defense is good. And by the way, holy moly, she is unbreakable. Nice. And also, 
extra hit points here nice anyways uh, this is really good she's a fantastic scout um, stunt or disoriented targets and independent of that uh, plus one damage if she is within CQB radius which currently would be six fields total set bonus dominance okay and that would be defense critical hit critical hit chance hmm. okay yeah we're going with shock and maul I think that's a good selection does not apply to uh, grenades okay that's fine but that extra damage is good together with a shotgun it's really good just need to even uh, even be clearer on that CQB radius we need to be even clearer on that one and we need to get some of the extra abilities so I like zone defense that's good but priority is unbreakable evasive um, and I think plus two hit points are great as well for 15 uh, points it's steel so we need to build this one up she could be a good soldier as well if we have more points later down the road We could even go with Roving Warrior, run and gun activated and then two shots, uh, those would be good. Or shot and an overwatch because zone defense is really really strong. Yeah, if if we go down the, uh, the run and gun route then we need to um, reduce it further. It's currently five turns, four would already be better. Five turns. Sword infantry can equip lighter weapons to further reduce it by one. So essentially, we would give her a knife that would reduce it down to uh, four. With this here, it would reduce it down to three turns. And that's not bad. I think that is good every three turns. And then we can play on that and use the shotgun as the main weapon. I do have an idea of how I would build her, but it's going to be a very, very, um, resource hungry build. Um, well, superior autoloader isn't bad either, but the scope, I'm wondering if we should actually do a shotgun with a scope, um, because she's still on half distance from time to time. I will think about it. I will think about it. Um, okay, so we got sabotage, which will pay, uh, buy us more time. That's good. Because we need more time. And we got finally a new mission. Plenty of intel, plenty of supplies. Uh, dark VIP mission. Operation Lazy Skull. Okay, well, well, this is going to happen the next time. I feel that this episode is potentially one and a half hours long. Um, yeah. If you enjoyed it though, the unlikely uh, fight against the juvenile queen, then leave a uh, comment and a like down below did you think that it was possible to pull it off the answer is yes and good your you have more faith in me than i do um i like that free battle scanner by the way i think we need it for the cha uh, chameleons and this here is helpful also very good That's it. If you have a free battle scanner, try to scan that like button 
and uh, see you in two days. Bye-bye.